Once we've created the HTML tags and the HTML head that goes inside our tags, we need to move on to the body. The body is going to be what's displayed and seen throughout the rest of the page. Remember, the head isn't shown. Everything inside the body has at least the potential for being shown. So I'm going to come here to my line 10, create a body tag, and it has a matching closing body tag, as you see here. Everything that goes inside of it, there's a lot of tags, so we're going to look at that later. But I'm going to show you just a couple of quick things. One is that we can have an ID for our body. And we'll just specify an ID equals and then quotes and then put our attributes. So in this case, we're just going to call it sample since this is just a sample HTML page. Now, an ID isn't used very often, but classes are used semi-often. And we can put a class attribute inside of our body tag and say equals, and then we might say something like full. And what this is used for is if we want to define how wide our page is. So we might have a full page. We might have a page that's designed for just partial width, you know, so it's not going out to our edges. We might have a variety of different pages. And even though the content of the body will be the same, how we control it by setting that class up in the body allows us to do things like maybe turn off navigation if we don't want to see it because it's a landing page. Or maybe turn off just the header in general. Or like I said, keep it full width or maybe have it minimized so it's only a thousand pixels internal maximum. So there's a lot of things that we can do with a class inside of our body. And that's something that we do see being used fairly often in a lot of different circumstances, especially by more advanced styles of web design.